everybody, I am doing a collaboration this week with the very lovely Catherine from Dubai Expat Mummy. Her channel is lovely. I started watching her about a year ago. She is an expat and now lives in Dubai with her husband and her daughter Clementine and is expecting baby number two next month. So very excited for Catherine, congratulations. We have decided to do a video on Christmas traditions. I for one am interested in finding out what Catherine considers as her Christmas traditions now that she lives abroad. So when I started watching her channel, it's, it's always nice for me because most of my, I would say mummy vloggers that I watch are based in the UK. Catherine obviously lives in a very hot country, so it's nice to see the change of scenery and what she gets up to day to day. Catherine is a busy lady. She is a social media manager. She has a background in magazine journalism. And I just find that she has a lot of interesting ideas and creativity. So do please check out her channel. When I first started thinking about doing this video and thinking about all the things that I have experienced growing up as a child around Christmas time, the first thing that comes to my head is how happy my childhood was and that was very very much down to my parents who are non-christians like myself but we have grown up to celebrate christmas and i find it just a really nice time of the year for people to come together friends to meet up to just share special moments together i want to do the same for jay he's three and a half years old and he's just at that lovely age where the magic of Christmas is really now beginning to come alive for him. It's a time where we as a family um, are spending time together and we live in such a busy world. So for me, it's really important that he understands that it's all about love <laughs> and enjoying that time together. So the very first Christmas tradition that I want to tell you about is the buying of the Christmas tree. We as a family head to our local garden centre every year and uh, it's like a sort of ceremony I think. We just, we walk around, we usually know what sort of tree we're going to like. I think even before we get there we've gone for the same style of tree. This is a Norman fir so it's child friendly, it's got soft needles. After we had bought him we basically went and sat down and had coffee, mince pies, mulled wine. There's a lovely fire at the garden center and we literally just spend an afternoon enjoying ourselves. The second tradition of ours is festive plants. The home for me, especially around this time of year, I love it being filled with flowers. Most people recognize poinsettias as the traditional Christmas plant. So I make sure that I have a couple dotted around the house. One I actually bought the other day hasn't made it, unfortunately, so I don't know what I've done wrong there. The third Christmas tradition is donating food to the local food bank. Many families out there that are struggling to put food on the table, so for me it it's important that I do something and it is a tradition for us. We make sure that we donate every year. I would say is that if you're thinking of doing the same thing, have a look online for your local food bank and just take a look to see what they actually need at that food bank. A lot of people often buy the same things. Perhaps just check on, on your local food bank website if you did want to donate, just to see what they are really in need of this year. So yes, that's my third Christmas tradition. The fourth Christmas tradition is candles and having candles around the home. Light is so important, in my opinion. I think it brings a lot of warmth to the home or your living space. And when it comes to this time of the year, something I always do is just make sure that I buy a few different candles for Christmas for the month of December. I think there's something very special about welcoming guests to the home when there are candles burning. It's just cozy, especially with the nights drawing in as well. And yeah, having, you know, things like fairy lights and all that sort of stuff, it's just a very, gives a very cozy feeling. My final tradition is the setting up of the nativity scene. I have it all set up over there, which I'm going to show you, but basically Mark, Jay and I will just take the nativity set out of the box every year and we set it up and we let Jay obviously 
have his his time and put all the pieces on when i look at it it just reminds me about Christmas and uh, remembering that there is a reason behind all of the madness that goes on outside. Ultimately, there is a story of Christmas. There you go, they are my five Christmas traditions, things that we do every year. I really hope you have a peaceful time over the next couple of weeks and please do check out Catherine's Christmas traditions video as well. It's a good one.